Well, hello and a warm welcome. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. The Hans Niemann story has just, you know, it's just been the only thing on my mind for the last year or so. And I'm having a hard time concentrating on any new chess content until then. So, let's talk about Hans. Shall we? Hans is guilty. Okay. <laughs> I can say it. No one can sue me. But I believe Hans is guilty. And um, I will even go so far as to say that it it's a matter of fact. <laughs> but it is. It really is. So let's get to the substance of the matter. Um, uh, data. Data. All right. <laughs> data proves that Hans is guilty. Now, what data am I talking about? I'm talking about centipon loss. You know, you don't even know what that is. And you think you are entitled to have an opinion on chess. You don't even know the basics about the game. You know, you're not even a quadruple digit rating player, most of you. So let's leave the analysis of who is cheating and who isn't to the experts. Okay, let's leave it to people like Hikaru Nakamura, Fabiana Caruana, and the, and the like, all right? We know, and I, I include myself in this category, naturally, we know who's cheating and who is not. Algorithms and all these things uh, very, very uh, primitive methods of assessing who's cheating and who isn't. Unless you have the right kind of detection mechanism, which the Reagan model doesn't have. Um, the Reagan model is li literally only looking for someone who's a systemic cheater. Someone who's trying to cheat in every game of a tournament and win the tournament. Hans is not doing that. Hans is a clever cheater. All right, we'll give him that. We'll give him that. Now, in what way is he clever? He's clever in that he doesn't try to win every single bloody game. You know, when the Allies found out about the Nazi codes and they could sp essentially spy on the enemy and predict their attacks beforehand and hence win every single war they faced, do you think that's what they did? No. You watched Imitation Game? Well, in the movie, they stated clearly, a matter of fact, that this mathematician who had broken the code said that even though we know the code, we must still lose a few wars here and there so that the enemy doesn't wisen up and figure out that, we're, that we figured out their, their pattern. This is the same approach which Hans is using. He loses a game or two here and there, so, you know... Uh, so it's not so obvious. Modern day cheating at its finest. And here we are, the spectators. And until you find a smoking gun, you know, a device sticking out of his butthole. Until you find that, you're going to be always with a little bit of doubt. And I understand why. I mean, you don't know much about chess. So it's natural that you would feel... Like you don't really know. Benefit of the doubt goes to the batsman. No. That's bullshit. Benefit of the doubt goes to Carlson, the champion. That's what I say. <laughs> like it or not, that's the way it's gonna be. Because the champ is the champ. The champ is the champ. Alright? And no matter what your beef is with, uh, with being excellent... It doesn't matter. What matters is who is the best. It's Magnus. Right? Now, I would imagine that Magnus is not so comfortable with this whole situation. He didn't want to fight this fight, but he's ready to. Magnus is a bit like the Dark Knight. You know? He's willing to, to be the bad guy for the greater good. That's the kind of hero we need in the world today. 
It's a kind of hero we don't see much of anymore, right? So, on that note, let's win a pawn here. He tried to bully this situation open, but he didn't have the math right. Mathematics! So important if you want to be a good chess player. Something which Alok doesn't have. Something which uh, many of you don't have. Depine has. Tanna has. Banu is probably decent. I mean, he's a CEO. And Jen probably has. Of course, Jen has. But none of you are better than me at mathematics. Let's be frank. I did get 800 in my SATs. Little known fact, but uh, very much true. I also got 95 in my board exams in math, which is actually probably a low score for some of you. Some of you Neemans out there. A lot of Indians are board exam Neemans. This is something you'd have to say because all through school, they get 60, 70, and then in the board exams, 95, 96. Whose cock were you sucking, huh? Neiman? Anyway, let's not use bad language. It's a children's channel, right? No, it isn't. So let's just block this shit up. This looks like it's going to be an easy game. Open and shut case. Really nothing to it. Uh, I'm going to bring the queen here rather than here because I don't want him to get this long diagonal with two pieces on the diagonal. Uh, I'm not going to be able to win this knight anyway. Unless he does something dumb. So This is an important trip for you. Don't play on a hope and a wish but play with more substantive chess. So here, this is my, my threat, really. This is, this is a proper threat. And he's got to respond to it. So he's gone like this. And we'll just hold it all solid. <clears throat> if he takes, we'll probably take back with the pawn, in fact. Keep a really big center. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it solid, keep it tight. He's only got 30 seconds left on the clock, so this game's pretty much over and done for. Just like Hans's career. <laughs> well, whatever the outcome of this Hans debacle, all I can say is if Hans does go to jail for cheating, and he has cheated for prize money. He should go to jail. He should go to jail. Until next time, boys.